Hello everyone. Today we have a internship from Airbus and it is a machine learning internship. And the job location is Bangalore. And if you scroll down, we can uh, look at the job role, location, duration, and the department that you will be working in. So the job title is machine learning engineer intern, and the location is Xylem Building, Bangalore. And the duration for this internship will be four months. And the department you will be working in is data science or ai or machine learning and then if you scroll down more uh, we can find the responsibilities here where you will be assisting in building and improving the machine learning models for various application and also you will work with the data set you will be cleaning uh, pre-processing and uh, transforming the data into train models and then you will implement the SOTA deep learning algorithm to solve the various computer vision problems and also you will collaborate with your senior engineer and data scientist to optimize the model performance and deploy the model as an endpoint or batch job and also you will conduct the experiments and analyze the performance of the models using open source data sets and benchmarks on Airbus specific data and you will create a data visualization and report to communicate insights and results effectively then you will contribute to the development of machine learning pipelines with uh, ML ops and uh, you will be doing the experiment tracking model or data versioning and etc and you can look at the qualification here this is the important part where uh, they have mentioned that you should be currently pursuing a degree in computer science data science mathematics engineering or related field so you can understand that you should be currently pursuing that means 2025 and 2026 batch can apply for this internship and then they have mentioned required skills for this role from this you will be noting out the key skills and tools and uh, putting it in your resume so it will have a relevancy for this role and if you apply and if they have a ATS checker you will uh, your resume will pass through the ATS checker and it you will get shortlisted for this role so uh, let's look into the required skills then I will tell you the keywords or key skills that is here and uh, the first thing is you should have the understanding of machine learning algorithms and techniques such as supervised unsupervised or deep learning and then uh, you should be proficient in python programming language and familiar with the machine learning libraries and frameworks like tensorflow keras pytorch uh, scikit learn and etc then you should have the knowledge on computer vision concept and you should be experienced with the miniforge vs code git etc and also uh, windows and linux be uh, familiar with the cloud platforms such as aws azure or google cloud and you should have the knowledge of version control tools such as git and also you should be familiar with the sql and working with databases then you should have the exposure to the basics of devops and example you should have the exposure of uh, using the docker kubernetes and it will be a big plus for you and then you should have a strong communication skill and collaboration skill with the team members so now let me tell you the keywords uh, or the key skills here uh, such as supervised unsupervised learning deep learning and python then uh, there are something like uh, the machine learning libraries and frameworks that they are given here that tensorflow keras pytorch scikit-learn and then also experience in miniforge vs code git windows and linux and then the cloud platform such as aws azure google cloud git sql uh, docker and kubernetes so these are the skill set that you can actually include in your resume you don't need to add everything you can add whichever you know uh, even if you have a basic idea and uh, you have worked in it you can apply in your resume you you don't know uh, any of this just now you are actually knowing its name so don't put it in your resume and if in technical round uh, if the hr ask any questions to you you will get stuck there so only add whichever things you know if you if you are eager to learn uh, learn and then apply in your resume that's what you can actually do other than just uh, blindly putting it in your resume will be a big problem for you and this is the end of this video and if you have any other doubts you can uh, let us know in the comment section we will help you out and if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe and share it to your friends